Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Forex with a free US dollar index Elliott Wave analysis for you for the New York trading session dated Monday the 15th of November. I'm going to start with a quick look in historical chart just for the last three years. This is my main wave count. It expects the dollar is in a cycle degree wave C to the upside, subdividing at primary degree to a five wave impulse. An impulse up for one, an expanded flat for wave two at primary degree, working now on primary three to the upside. Well, so far we've had intermediate wave one. It's likely today that intermediate wave two was over and we're in the early stages of intermediate wave three within primary three to the upside. There's been a little bit further downwards movement since I last did this historical chart for you. Within this second wave, expanded flat correction, wave C black at intermediate degree is just 1.94 points short of 1.618 the length of wave A, which is a remarkably close Fibonacci ratio there between A and C. A subdivides to a three wave structure, B has a pretty clear corrective wave count, so I expect this is the best analysis for this piece of movement on a three-year chart, and this gives us a little bit more confidence that the overall trend for the dollar should be up. If this correction is to the downside, then no matter what I have at cycle degree, then we should be expecting further upwards movement for the dollar. Downwards movement, again, so far, has a pretty strong three-wave look for the second wave at intermediate degree. Here's a couple of alternate scenarios for you exactly the same chart, slightly different labels. We could possibly be seeing a triangle structure unfold for the dollar with a nice three-wave structure up for A. I don't have too much of a problem with that except it sees this piece of movement here. My subdivide is an impulse for a C wave within wave A. Thereafter a downward structure for B which could possibly be counted as an impulse. It has a pretty strong five-wave look. My biggest problem with this triangle scenario is this upwards movement would then have to be considered a zigzag for C. Four out of five waves of the triangle should subdivide into zigzags, zigzag combinations, or possibly triangles. You can only have one of the waves of a triangle, therefore, subdividing into an impulse, and we really would want to count this as an impulse, which means you have to count this as some type of corrective structure, and it has a strong impulsive count. Thereafter, the subwave to the downside for D could certainly be seen as an A, B, C impulse. And now, possibly in the early stages of wave E to the upside, which must unfold as a corrective structure, a zigzag combination or a triangle. Movement above 88.52 will invalidate the triangle scenario because E cannot move beyond the end of C. Movement below any further downwards movement for D cannot move beyond the end of B, so this triangle scenario is invalidated with movement below 74.18. Here's another possibility. Upwards movement here could be seen as again a three wave structure. Again I have a problem with seeing this piece of movement here as an impulse. No problem with seeing this as an intermediate first wave to the downside. It has a five wave count. A little bit of a problem again with seeing this upwards piece of movement here as a second wave corrective wave. It has a strong impulsive count. And if this is correct, we should be working on a third wave to the downside that must move beyond the end of one, therefore movement below 74.18 would confirm this wave count. However, when we go back and have a look at the main wave count, the subdivisions fit much more comfortably. One, two, three, four, five waves up for one, a three down for A, corrective count up for B, a five wave structure down for C, all fitting nicely. And this is a strong impulsive count to the upside and we've got it labelled as an impulsive wave, wave 1. So this main wave count doesn't have any problems with the subdivisions at this historical chart level for the last three years. So that's why it's my main wave count and my preferred wave count. I'll keep those alternates in mind however. Having a look at the closer up situation here on the daily chart just for the last year is that within primary 3, 5 wave structure up for intermediate wave 1. ABC zigzag down for intermediate wave 2 and it's likely now that the dollar is in a third wave at intermediate degree to the upside within a primary third wave. This wave count, if this second wave correction was over here, is invalidated with movement below 75.63. We have a little overshoot now to the upside of this wide blue parallel channel containing this second wave zigzag. Drawn with a trend line first from the start of A to the end of B, a parallel copy next placed on the end of A. 
when we see a bar opening and closing to the upside and not touching the upper edge of this parallel channel, not touching this blue trend line, we'll have our final confirmation that the trend has changed from down to up and we're in a third wave to the upside. Taking you now to an hourly chart for the last 10 days where this pink five down here is now down here. And here's an impulsive count to the upside with a one, two, three, four, five, satisfying nicely the guideline of alternation. We've got an expanded flat here for wave two and a zigzag here for wave four. Within this wave one, at pink or minute degree to the upside, wave three green has no Fibonacci ratio to wave one, but wave five green is just 0 0.05 short of 0.618 the length of wave one. Within wave one green, Wave 3 orange is just 0 0.02 short of 4.236 the length of wave 1 and wave 5 orange is just 0 0.09 longer than equality with wave 1. Within wave 3 green, wave 3 orange has no Fibonacci ratio to wave 1. Wave 5 orange, however, is exactly 0 0.618 the length of wave 3. It's a remarkably good Fibonacci ratio there. Within this fifth wave at green degree here, Wave 3 green has no Fibonacci ratio to wave 1. Wave 5 green just 0 0.03 longer than 1.618 the length of wave 1. And the second wave at pink or minute degree looks like it's unfolding as an expanded flat correction. The three wave structure for A, an exaggerated three wave structure up for B, and a downwards movement for wave C unfolding that's most likely to reach about 77.3 where it will reach 1.618 the length of wave A which is the most common relationship between the two for an expanded flat correction. The second wave at pink degree may not move beyond the start of wave 1 therefore this wave counts invalidated with movement only below 75.63. When this correction is over and when we can see a satisfactory impulsive wave count from this point here to the downwards end of it then we should be expecting a trend change for the dollar back to the upside, a resumption of that upwards trend that we've been seeing for the last few days overall. So it's fairly likely that the trend change for the dollar has occurred and it's back to an upwards trend. However, I'm not going to calculate upwards targets for that third wave at intermediate degree until that trend change is confirmed by a clear breach of that trend channel on the daily chart. It's premature to calculate those targets yet, and I wouldn't want to be entering this market until we have a trend change strongly confirmed. That's all for me with your US dollar index analysis, and I hope this helps you in your trading.